kama unataka kutoka kwa any addiction na huko ready to embrace the pain that it will come with that journey to come out huko ready wewe ni kijana mdogo na umejishikanisha na mama yako na doa na kulipia gafi all you do is sort her you know how wewe you must ask yourself the day i leave this mama what are the pains that i will bear and be ready wewe sema sawa i will drop out of school kama na drop out of school i am ready Niaji 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 mimi naitwa Pitson Le Grand karibuni sana in Sheng Bible Study na best yangu Raf amenembe nimshikilie kiasi and that's what we are doing sasa we kwani li deal na testimony yangu week 2 tuka deal na the discipline of vision na hizo content zote ziko available unaweza cheki week 3 tuka deal na migration yani ni mentality gani hizo unani get rid of ndio uko a different person ju kama aiko in your mind buda una try but easy work. Hii wiki tuna deal na kitu very very important which is how to come out of addictions. How to come out of any addiction. How to come out of any any it doesn't matter how big it is any addiction. So stay to the end. Haitakuwa long but before atanianze na katuko ask that we support DJ Raf. Subscribe to this channel. Uh, ana do job poor ana do job poor not many people in this last days wana share na sisi wa their god wose ingi wana kushow how many shoes they have how many shirts they have how big their bedroom is and what they take for breakfast lakini one of us a remnant in the kingdom ya memoa yeah ya ta share na wase wa their god in shame what a noble cause so let's support him in whichever way tunaweza na kwa wale wase mko mkifollow e journey that we are taking together get in touch with me info dot gidinji at gmail.com niambie what this journey has done to you send me your number i'll call you we can pray together i may not be able to walk with you ivi karibu karibu but ndaku call now twende kazi too straight to how to come out wase wana deal na staff wase wana deal na vitu mob they can take the photos of it on instagram but when do unajua wana to show photos zako kwa instagram but wana jua yenyewe siko sawa When you remain alone in the house, oh lia, pilo yako imejaa machozi. Una jua huko sawa, una fikiri huko sawa, but huko sawa. Hiyo kitu unataka kutoka, there's something in you telling you this is not your place. Come to fix your point. I will ask you kwa heshima zote. Stop watching this video now. But kama umefika hiyo place yenye unasema, how do I come out of this behavior, new addiction that I'm developing? this new vice that i have started how do i come out come on wewe then continue watching this video nime categorize those ways of how to come out into five p's five p's if you're writing chukua tu pen andika p p p p p mara tano the first one is philosophy if it doesn't start in your mind you're wasting your time if it doesn't start with belief as long as you believe that your weed in a in a healing power hata nikae hapa nikisema nini nikisema wacheni weed wacheni we hautaweza you have to change some of those mentalities as long as you believe that nikikunywa mimi kwa confident hautawai wacha na one day utawishungia cha mapema as long as you think that every time niki have sex mufil refreshed na feel nimerudishia mwili shukrani really One of the ways the devil is using to affect behavior and to pump vices into this society ni ku change names. So kitu mbaya hitu mbaya. Kuwa mtu ni to eliminate. Ku have sex ni to kurudishia. Mwili shukrani really change that belief, change, change. Anza kuona that thing for what it is. It is a distraction. It is destroying your future, it is destroying you. It is a distraction. So your addiction uko ndani ione for what it is that's where it starts and you have to say I'm coming out So change your philosophy that's the first P The second P ni pain you have to embrace pain Not all pain is bad Kama unataka kutoka kwa any addiction na huko ready to embrace the pain that it will come with that journey to come out Huko <laughs> ready Huko ready You must live a quote and quote boring life for you to have an exciting future. So start thinking if I leave this sponsor 
nyumba yangu itafungwa ni za drop out of college am i willing to face that pain wewe ni kijana mdogo na umejishikanisha na mama yako na doa na kulipia gafi all you do is sort her you know how wewe you must ask yourself the day i leave this mama what are the pains that i will bear and be ready we sema sawa i will drop out of school kama na drop out of school i am ready that person paying that rent sema okay wacha ifungwe mimi ndarudi basi slam ama bed sitter but i'm not continuing with this are you ready to face the pain that comes with that decision for those of you tunawaambia mwache addictions kutakuwa na hiyo pain ya kufeel i need i need i really need it but go through it embrace that pain i promise you you will not die you will not die number three, the third p ni peers marafiki wasi uko close now if that group all it does is take you back to the same behavior you have to change you are an ego wacha ku hang out na chicken wewe ni simba unafanya nini na fisi wewe ni nyuki unafanya nini na nzi toka toka kwa hiyo group toka kwa hiyo group kama every time una meet your group unajipata game smoke weed toka kama every time unajipata kwa hiyo group mmekunywa mmekunywa umefika home late umekosana na wife unatuka na wife unachapa wife because hiyo group ina kuchocha toka kama every time ukimeet hiyo group na any wife but you behave like a single girl a young teenage girl toka kwa hiyo group don't have excuses about it where anza tu kuachorea and there's never a right time to say goodbye the time is now wewe waambie tu sorry i can't hang out with you guys Eh, mi nimeanza a new journey na itaka pride iko tu sawa mi nimeanza hii journey na hii group sioni nika mnachangia kwa hii journey yangu so mi poleni let me tell you you'll have a boring life you will have a lonely life but those are the pains i'm saying you have to be willing to bear ndio manzimu life is song mbele otherwise itakuwa round and round the same mountain umekukiacha hiyo kitu for how long na kuna time ishai work so e time lazima ita work the fourth p ni practical changes to your life practical changes ina maanisha ni kitu una do so kama hiyo root ukitoka job hiyo root hiyo ka local iko kwa hiyo root change root kama umse ali ku introduce kwa cocaine ama heroin mnaishi the same flat hama hiyo flat kama ni pon na hiyo simu ndio watch kwa hiyo simu consider kutumia kabambe for the next 3 months do something practical hama hiyo area hata kani church hata kani golf club hata kani gym na unajua hiyo kwa hiyo gym ndio hizi vitu zilianza toka hiyo gym and i ingin change your route toka hiyo group those are practical ways that you can do utoke kwa hiyo kitu kama mse mwenye ako connected na kitu una try kuacha ni mse yusa ku supply ya kitu important labda yende ukuletea nguo yende ukuletea viatu yende ukuletea groceries mwambie usilete practicality wachana nayo so that's a very important point kama uko ready kufika hapo what are we doing tunachochana tu hapa but utaacha so kama utaki hivyo na umeamua ah me i'm becoming a better man change that group we change usikuwa ati unawachorea tu ati ah ah wacha ikuwe clear mimi juu ya ile jani nimeanza for now haitaweza but lazima join another group you see wezi talk alafu sasa uko peke yako uko gasolo loneliness itakurudisha huko boredom itakurudisha huko so ukitoka you have to get a new group join a youth group in a church join a, a, a community life group sijui cha chenyu mnazihitaji home fellowship Jumuia, Ecclesia, Miss Jum nazihitaje? But join. Join a new group. Get a mentor. Walk na mse. Ju kama umechange peers wako, but uja get a new group, you will slowly go back. The fifth P ni prayer. Prayer ni diagnosis yenye mupati ya wase. Mse ame kama mimi niambia, ah, mimi na go through the niambia pray. Pray. Na usi pray ile. Lord, mimi naenda job. Umetoka take time kneel down make it a moment and surrender ambia god god mi kitu imenilemea nimeacha hii kitu this is the 16th time nasema naacha hii kitu ama 20th nimekuwa nikiacha hii kitu from the year 2000 nasiachagi ukweli nisaidie hata kusaidia wacha nisome scripture tukimalizia kuna mse alikuwa anaitwa Elihu alikuwa anaongea na job na zile vitu alisema ndio nataka kumaliza nazo 
alikuwa msemi yang so alingoja elders wakaongea but ya kaongea finally alisema hivi jujoba alikuwa na ana come from a very from a point where anasema mimi nimekuwa perfect si understand kwa nini god ananifanya hizi vitu mimi na tithe mimi naenda ga church na pray hii si understand kwa nini hizi vitu zinanifanyikia na most of us tuko hiyo place where tuna justify what we do but elihu anamwambia job 33 from 12 to 14 but let me tell you job you're wrong you're dead wrong god is far greater than any human so how dare you howl he mean to a court and then complain that he won't answer your charges god always answers one way or another even when people don't recognize his presence so na peana hizo njia zenye god yuongea ya kwanza anasema god anezongea in a dream for instance in a vision at night when men and women are deep in sleep fast asleep in their beds god opens their ears and impresses them with warnings to turn them back from something bad they are planning from some reckless choice and keep them from an early grave from the river of no return so you need njia kwanza god uongea ya pili 19 to 22 inasema oh god might get their attention through pain by throwing them on a bed of suffering so they can't stand the sight of food have no appetite for their favorite treats they lose weight wasting away to nothing reduced to a bag of bones they hang on a cliff edge of death knowing the next breath may be their last so pain is the another way but even then an angel could come a champion there are thousands of them to take up your cause a messenger who you who would mercifully intervene canceling the death sentence with these words i've come up with a ransom before you know it you're healed the very picture of health yani ni god ameleta pain but but on to my angel akama kusaidia but kuna another way hiyo ni pain so the first one ni dreams the second one ni pain when you god is a get attention yako tuendelee uh, job 33 26 inaendelea or you may fall on your knees and pray to god's delight you'll see god's smile and celebrate finding yourself set right with god you'll sing god's praises to everyone you meet testifying i've messed up my life and let me tell you it wasn't worth it but god stepped in and saved me from certain death i'm alive again once more i see the light so elihu anasema prayer ni better than any other way so we pray na kuna wengine wanaisikiza wanasema but i don't know how to pray me say me so pray as at advance utafika hapo but the mere action of just kneeling down kusema god misaidia ikitu imenlemea atakusaidia so hizo ndio the practical ways is only five p's that can literally get you out of any addiction mimi nakuombea that god atastai kitu in you to come out na uta come out hakuna kitu ngumu kwa god anaweza ku draw out kaona ni ni pray na wewe info.gidinji@gmail.com niandikie right to me niambie tu bro mimi na go through his stuff watch and pray na wewe thank you my name is pitson today is the last episode manze mmekuwa an awesome audience so many shikilia so many support i've received so many messages asante ni sana thank you to dj raf for giving me this chance to minister to god's people naopenda sana god bless you until next time this is sheng bible study